get ready with me as I get ready to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I put it out there recently if you guys wanted to see like a real time get ready with me. So I decided to go ahead and film this. So this would be like something I would do, something I would wear if I'm going grocery shopping. Okay, so that was my Colleen Rothschild Lemonade Eye Cream. Now I'm going to go in with my Sicily Primer. And I'm going to put that on. So as I'm putting it on, I'll try to remember to, to say what it is. But everything will be on my description below. So, uh, yeah, this is how it is in my work schedule. It's what I do is I will, by the way, this is uh, Valentino. So Fridays is my grocery shopping day. Thursdays is my, sh uh, my I said something else, is my um, cleaning day. I clean on Thursdays and so yeah so on Fridays I don't do a workout or anything Fridays just my day to go grocery shopping and uh, I like to go to Target Target I go and I get a lot of my veggies I get bread staples you know stuff like that staples um toilet paper Kleenex just stuff like that you know toiletries and just all that kind of stuff that's what I get at Target and then I go to the Publix and then at Publix I will get my meats and things like that and any other and you know what I don't even have my other magnified mirror in here awesome so I'm trying to do this in real time usually I have that and I'm only gonna have to use a big one <laughs> big magnified mirror so I can make sure that I am blending this out really good but you saw how I put this on with my fingers and then I like to go over and tap it just to make sure I blend it really good like that like so like that who says that I can't think of her name there's somebody on social media and she cooks she always says like so like that <laughs> I can't think of her name or Tabitha Brown that's what it is Tabitha Brown okay now when I'm done doing that, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my Sicily Concealer. I'm so glad to have this baby back. And, uh, boy, it feels weird to do this with my big mirror. I usually have my little mirror. You guys know that. But I was trying to make sure I got everything in here because I get dressed in my bathroom. I don't get dressed in here. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, make sure you have all your stuff when you do this. So we can actually do this. And look, I'm putting way too much on. I'm going to be careful. It's okay. We're going to blend it out. I'm going to blend it out. Taking my little brush here. I love this conceal. I love it. Because even if you fudge up a little bit and you do add just maybe a tad too much, you can blend this out and it's still not going to settle a crease on you. I just, oh, I love it. And with the Colleen Rothschild Illuminating Eye Cream, I'm telling you, it's the perfect combination for a concealer. I love it. So I'm going to blend that in. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Oh, setting spray, spreading powder. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do this. And speaking of, I don't know if I brought, I did bring setting spray in here. I did. Good job, Annie. Good job. I did not bring my MAC primer stuff fix plus, but it's okay. All right. Now I'm going to take my powder. This is the, what do you guys know? Givenchy. Givenchy Prism Libre. And where is my powder brush? I know I brought you in here. Okay. I don't have a lot of room on my table because I actually have two um, things of makeup on my table. So I don't have a lot of room on my table here. It works out much better in my bathroom because as I'm doing my makeup in my bathroom, I have room to like lay stuff here. I don't have room. Okay, so let me finish doing my powder before I get to my eyes. I'm just going to do this because I want to do my setting spray first. I'm going to explain why in a second. I'm going to go in with this. I love this because it's like a one and done deal. Okay, I can't see my, I got to see my mirror. I can't see what I'm doing and I just did it really patchy. 
I'm going to fix that. We're going to fix that. So did I not powder enough? Because I don't know why that did that. But it's okay. I'm going to show you what I would do. I'm looking mostly in my monitor because otherwise I have to go like this to look in my big mirror. And I don't think you want to watch me like that. <laughs> okay. So I don't know why that did that, but we're going to fix it. I'm going to go back with my powder. I'm just going to wipe off that blush brush. And now I'm just going to go like this and just kind of soften it. So if you ever do that, if you're in a hurry and you're like, oh, shoot, I overdid my powder. No worries. Or your blush, no worries. Just kind of go like that. I even go over it a little bit. I'm looking in this mirror too much. There we go. That's all you got to do. Just put a little bit of powder on it. Look at that. Baby bobbity boat. Good. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray. Now, normally I would take my MAC Fix Plus, but I did not bring it in here, which I do have some in my bathroom, but we're going to do this. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Well, I'm not going to edit that out. We're just going to not use setting spray today because I'm not going to run to my bathroom to do that. If I'm going to hurry, I don't have time for that. Okay. So next I'm going to go in. Actually, first I'm going to go in with this, my Painterly from a MAC. That really ticks my hide off. <laughs> I don't know why that's not working. I think that's one that I got with one of the kits back there, the little mini version. Well, what the hell is that? Not working, you little bitch. Yeah, I did say that. Okay. But if you're in a hurry, don't you get like ticked off when stuff like that happens? Like you don't have time and you're like, what in the hell? Now I'm going to go and I'm going to take my warm memories from, um, let me get those out and that way I can show you, from Chanel. And I'm going to go in with this color first, that one right there. And I'm just going to apply it. I'm applying it all over my crease there. And then I'm going to my inner. Uh, my outer corner and I'm going to take more and I'm going to get mostly on the outer corner. Do the same thing on the other eye. You guys, you don't need to use 50 brushes. Have you seen how many brushes have I used so far for this? Three, right? I used a foundation brush. I used a powder brush. I used a, a blush brush. Now this is my, what did I say? My fourth brush? No. You don't have to use a lot of brushes. You don't. It's nice to have different ones. And if you're like, you know, you want to have different eye brushes because you want to wipe it off. And, but you know, you want to have a clean one. I just wipe it off. I mean, if you're a makeup artist, I get it. You have to have different brushes. But for me, who has time to grab like 50 brushes when you're getting ready to go out the door? I know I don't have time for that. I'm using the same color. I'm just building it up a little bit more. I'm going to get it to where I want it. Now I'm just going to go in and use this color right here, that peachy color. I'm going to put that right on there. I don't always go in and use 50 colors either. Like if I'm going someplace, I mean, if I, if I have time to do something, but if I'm like just going grocery shopping, honey, I don't always have time. Okay. I just want to look pulled together when I go out the door. That's all. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my Chanel, and this is newer Rouge Nior. There we go. Rouge Nior. And I'm going to take that. And I don't have my magnified mirror, so I'm going to have to use this one right here. I'll do it so you guys can see. But I'm just putting it on my tight line first. And then I'm going to just get a little bit right on the top there, just a little bit tiny bit and then I'm going to take my smudger brush it's clean I'm just going to just smudge that out do the same on the other side you can use this as an eyeshadow too I usually like to use it as a liner but it's really an eyeshadow but you can use it um, picking up the wrong brushes there we go Good job. 
All right, so now let's work and get our brows done. Uh, let me get my, actually, let me get this one first. Brush these babies up. Look, at we're almost done. I don't know what time it is. I think it's 11 minutes on my clock here, but I've screwed around a little bit. And I don't have everything in front of me like I do in my bathroom when I'm getting ready to go out the door. So, brows. The, this is so easy to use if you want a quick brow. This is from Tom Ford. Anastasia has one, and use one that's in your budget, okay? It doesn't even have to be luxury if it's not your thing. But see how it's like this? That shape? Do you see that? See how it's that shape? Look at how I did that really quick. I'm going to do the other eye. I'm still going to blend it, but I just go in here. I start there to start to get my shape, and then I go ahead and I turn it, and then I'll start to fill it in. And there's a couple hairs that I need to tweeze, but we're not going to worry about that right now because we don't have time. We don't have time. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this brush and this brush, twisting my mirror around so I can see. There we go. And we're going to take another brush and I'm just going to blend this. Right like that so it doesn't look like I have a square um, brow. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Gel, which I freaking love this stuff. And I'm going to go right there. I'm looking at my, oh lord, got too much on there. Hold on. Stand by. <laughs> I feel like I've got to hold on. Let me get this other side. There we go. Okay. Sorry. I had to move over to the side to do that. All right. So next now we got to do my mascara. And I'm going to curl my lashes. This is my Ruffer Lash Curler. Now, um, I'm not, I didn't set my um makeup as you saw and here's the thing and the reason why i was doing it then instead of when i was all done is because when i set my um makeup after i do my eyeshadow and my mascara what happens is that i will get more uh transfer with my mascara for whatever reason i don't understand it but i do and i take a lot of coats of mascara so I'm not done with my mascara is what I'm saying. I still want to put something in my lower lash line too because I don't have enough on. I need some color there. So we're going to take care of that in a second. This is my second coat, by the way. And then I'm going to go back and put a little bit on my lower lash line, which is going to look a lot nicer. I just need something down there. It's just too, no, you can't do that. So I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to use my smudge brush. I'm going to go into that purpley color. I don't want to put that right there. I like that. Look at the difference. That just brought my eye to life. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to blend that a little bit too, because I got a little bit too low. Uh, I need to find my brush. This is part of the, <laughs> where are you at? Where'd you go? If you saw my, t I say this all the time, but seriously, there's shit all over my table. Okay. Blend that out. Blend it out. Okay. Time for some more mascara. <laughs> I told you. I told you I use a lot of mascara. I wasn't kidding you. And then I'm going to put my lipstick on. And then I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with my hair to see what it looks like. Because we're in the months right now that curling my hair is not an option. Because it's just too, you know, hot and humid. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my lip liner and I'm gonna go ahead and use a Stupid Cupid from Vive.
And then we're going to use Pillow Talk Fair. This is a new one that I picked up. It's a little bit peachy looking to me. I thought it would go good with my eye look. And I'm going to go back and put some more mascara on. <laughs> this should be it. Just a little bit more. I think this is the uh, part that takes the longest for me is my mascara on. Okay. All right. Makeup is done. Let's take my little clippies out. My camera shut off on me. So one more thing I added really quickly is I add a little bit of highlighter to my upper cheeks. I like to do that. And that's it. And by the way, I got this to work. The little spray thing in there, I had to cut it just a little bit off the ends. And not, I'm not going to spray it on me, but I'll spray it so you can see that it works. So that's good to know because I'll be traveling with that. I probably need to put that in my bag so I have it in my bathroom. Okay, so I just want to show you really quickly all the brushes that I used to do this look. And one of them I don't really, really need to use. So I used about nine, I need about nine brushes. So I used my foundation brush to blend it out. This I used for my bronzer blush. This I used for my powder. Honestly, I could probably use this for my powder too. But it's, it's a clean one, so I did that. Um, this I used at the end for my highlighter which you didn't see. I did a whole eye look pretty much with one brush except for underneath, which I used my smudger brush. This I used, which you don't need to use. You don't need this, but I do like using this to put my, um, my eyeshadow primer on with, but you don't have to use a brush. Okay. So it's another one you don't need. Um, this is from Chanel. So I have that brush on the one side and this, so I don't really need this one. Okay. And then I always use this one to blend out and stuff. So all the brushes that if, you know, like if I really like need, need brushes, the Chanel one, I just want to put this away. My Chanel brush, foundation brush, powder, blush, eyeshadow, smudger, and this. Those are really, out of all the brushes, these are the brushes that I need for sure. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brushes. That's all you need. Seven brushes. You don't need a ton of brushes. I keep saying that in videos because, hey, you can have as many brushes as you want to because I have a ton. I have like brushes back there. I have a whole thing of brushes in my bathroom. I love makeup brushes, but I mean, for the average person, Unless you're going to do makeup on people, you don't have to have a lot of brushes. And I always like to just re-emphasize that because I think it can be overwhelming when you see people always getting all these brushes and you're like, oh my God, how many brushes do I need to do when I look? Like, do you have time to use four brushes when you're going to go out someplace? Like, I don't have time to do that. Speaking of that, we need to wrap it up because I need to get going. So anyways, this is what I would wear typically if I'm going to go out. This is, this is it. Two eyeshadows, some lipsticks, a little bit of blush stuff. It's nothing complicated at all. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I really uh, appreciate you being here too. And if you're new, I would love to have you join. I share new videos every single week. Please consider smashing that subscribe button below. It is free. Turn on your notifications. Turn on your notifications for your phone too. And so otherwise you won't be notified when I share a new video, which by the way, my videos go out on Sundays and Wednesdays. And before you go, if you would do me a huge f favor, I can't speak. If you would do me a huge favor, please make sure you like, share, and comment on my videos because it helps to push them out to the algorithm. And I would greatly appreciate it. I, I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.